Last thing we're going to look at is 6.5, which is really just talking about the connection between angle measures and side measures. And we're looking at these. The longer side has to be across from the larger angle, and the larger angle is across from the larger side, so and vice versa. So in this triangle right here, 8 is clearly bigger than 5, so the angle opposite of 8, which is angle C, has to be bigger than angle A. So if I look at number 1, if I list the angles of the triangle in order from smallest to largest, the biggest, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the smallest side is 11, so the smallest angle is angle A. The next smallest side is 12. So across from that means that angle B, and then it's angle C. In this next triangle, we are given the angles, and I can subtract 61 and 59 from 180 and get 60 degrees. So the smallest angle is 59, which means that BC is the smallest side. 60 is the next angle, which means that side is the next smallest, which is AB. And then that's followed by the biggest angle of 61 to side AC. And we can use that to determine if the side lengths form a triangle because when you add up two sides, they must always be greater than the third. So 4 plus 9 has to be greater than 10. 9 plus 10 has to be greater than 4. And 4 plus 10 has to be greater than 9. Any two sides must be greater than the third. And that checks out for all three of them. So the answer is yes, that would form a triangle. In number three, eight plus nine is not greater than 18. So it is not a triangle. And then in the last uh, example here, a triangle has one side length of 12 inches and another side of 20 inches. Describe the possible lengths of the third side. So it really has side lengths of 12, 20, and x. So using what we just did up above in number 2, that means that x plus 12 has to be greater than 20. It also means that x plus 20 has to be greater than 12. And lastly, that 20 plus 12 has to be greater than x. So when I solve these, the top one tells me that x has to be greater than 8. Here it tells me x is greater than negative 8. And the last one tells me that 32 is greater than x, or x is less than 32. If it's greater than 8, it is greater than negative 8. So I know that x has to be greater than 8, and x has to be less than 32. So we can apply those inequalities to find the side lengths of triangles.